Hello everybody, my name is Colby from StarlinkHardware.com and in front of me here I have three generations of Starlink routers and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a factory reset on each one of these different generations. Now the video that I currently have on my channel about a factory reset is just for the generation 2 that you see in front of me here. So in this video I'm going to be expanding that to this newest version which is the Gen 3 router and then I'll also show you the Gen 1 router as well because I know a few of you are still running that one. So what does it even mean to factory reset the router? And what does it do and why would you use it? Well, first of all, as a troubleshooting step, if you're having a lot of networking issues, maybe you're getting error messages in the Starlink app, factory reset is a great thing to do as a troubleshooting step just to clear all the settings out and basically start over. You're resetting the router to the default factory settings. It's also useful if you forget your Wi-Fi password. So if you forget the password to log into your Wi-Fi network, this is one way with a click of a button to be able to easily reset the router and you can reset the name and Wi-Fi password so that you'll be able to get back onto your Wi-Fi network. So before we jump too far into it, if you have the Gen 2 router, which is shown here, you don't really need any special tools or supplies, but if you have the Gen 3 router or the Gen 1 router, all you'll really need for this is something like a safety pin, or a paper clip, just something to be able to press the small factory reset button on the Gen 3 and the Gen 1 router. Okay, so let's start, let's go seniority first. Let's start with the Gen 1 router. So to factory reset the Starlink Gen 1 router, all you really need to do is flip it over to reveal this factory reset button. Right at the bottom right here, it says reset, if I can get the camera to focus. And so you'll take your safety pin, paper clip, whatever you have, and all you need to do with it powered on is just hit the little reset button. You'll feel a little click and that's all there is to it. Okay, so if you have the Gen 2 router, which looks like this, the process is a little bit different. Unfortunately, if you flip this over, you're not gonna see any kind of factory reset button. So there's a special kind of secret method that you have to use to be able to factory reset the Gen 2 router. So for Gen 2, you need to gain access to wherever the router is plugged in to the power outlet. And to do the factory reset, what you're going to do is unplug and replug the power cord six times in a row. And I would wait just a couple of moments between each cycle. So let me demonstrate. Unplug, plug it back in, wait a second. Unplug, plug it back in, wait a second. And then you just repeat that four more times. And you can do a little bit, a few more, just in case. It doesn't matter. As long as you, you just need to hit that six power cycles. So if you have the Gen 3 router, what you need to do is flip it around so that you have access to the back here. And you're going to want to take off this little cover right here. It's just a rubber cover. It just pulls right off. And once you do that, let me get these wires out of the way. Once you do that, you can see the little factory reset button right here. It's a little button in between the ethernet ports and use your little safety pin or paper clip and just depress the button. Your little click and now it's factory reset. Okay, so after you've done the factory reset procedure, no matter which generation Starlink router you have, go onto your device and go into the Wi-Fi settings. And what you'll want to do is find the network that says Starlink, right there, it's in all caps. You can see I've got another Starlink network. That's my other test system, but this one right here in all caps just popped up. And you'll also be able to tell because it's unsecured. You don't see the uh, security lock icon next to it. So it's an open unsecured network. And that's because we have not configured it yet. So what we wanna do is go ahead and tap on that, net that new network that just popped up after the factory reset. We'll let it connect. Might have to try a couple times. Okay, so now it's joining that network. Now I can go back and open up the Starlink app. And you can see now, after that factory reset, my system is rebooting, but I've got this interesting message right here. It says router not configured. And so in order to set your new network name and password, because remember, factory resetting clears all that information out of there. In order to set a new password for your Wi-Fi network and get it secured, go ahead and tap that message. 
And what you want to do is type in your new network name, your new network password, and hit submit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick off camera. Okay, so I've just typed in my new network name and new network password, and it's going to go ahead and do this little loading icon wheel thing, and that's just letting me know that it's applying the settings to the router. After this, you're going to have to open the settings on your device and connect to your new Wi-Fi network name using the password that you just set. Okay, so I've just joined my new network that I just set the password for, and as you can see, I am now online. My Starlink is working correctly after the factory reset. And like I said, this is um, demonstrating with the, the Gen 2 router right here, but the part after you actually factory reset is the same for Gen 2, or I'm sorry, Gen 3 and Gen 1. Um, setting as far as the app and connecting and getting your new information saved to your new network is exactly the same. So in closing out this tutorial here, uh, there's a few caveats and things that you should probably be aware of. Let's start with the Gen 2. So on the Gen 2 router, there is no light on the front. There's no indication that anything's powered on from the front. You have to flip it over and there's going to be an LED that turns on. You can see that right there. I don't have it powered on right now, but you can see right where my finger is. That's just a power LED. It doesn't really tell you the status of it or anything. It just turns white if there's power applied. So when you do the factory reset, you only know that it's worked if you see that new unsecured Starlink network pop up. On the Gen 3, it does have a status light. It's going to be in the bottom left corner as you're facing the router. After you press that factory reset button on the back, it'll blink pretty rapidly for a few seconds, and then it'll turn uh, as a kind of a flashing uh, slow flash until it's connected to the dish. On the Gen 1 router, there is a single LED right here that'll turn different colors um, as it's searching for the satellites and trying to connect to the dish. So again, these two have LED status indicators. This one has one on the bottom, not on the front, like you would expect. Okay, so that'll do it for this video. Now you know how to factory reset all three generations of Starlink routers. If you have any questions or feedback for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to chat with you guys there. And also be sure to check out our website, www.starlinkhardware.com to sign up to our newsletter to never miss any important Starlink updates. And also read some of the com uh, other blog content that we have posted there. We've got tons of stuff from Starlink news to tutorials to reviews. So make sure to check out the site. Until next time, thanks for watching.